can't scratch, I'm missing a piece that completes a whole part of me, an open wound start to see. Everybody come here, gather round, welcome to the... To the hey beauties, welcome back. So, today's video, I'm going to share with you the local food I'm going to cook with hubby for my mom, right? If you have watched my two previous videos, you realize that my mom came to visit me overseas and since then she has been eating only meat and chicken. <laughs> so hubby and me realized she has been missing something and we decided to make something for her just locally, right? So that she will feel back home. So what we decided to cook for her is banku and tilapia. If you are an African or you are a Ghanaian, you understand this local food, right? So what we are going to do for my mom today is banku and tilapia. So back home, we normally do it in a charcoal on air, right? But overseas, we can only do it on air when it is summer. And because it is a cold time, I'm going to share with you how I grill my tilapia in the oven right so i'm going to share with you how i do my banku and tilapia today with the help of my mom and hobby right so i normally uh buy the fish when it is fresh so so when i'm i'm ready to have something like this i only let hobby know and then he'll order for it then when we are ready to pick it up, we will just go ahead and pick it up and then we'll put it in the fridge until I am ready to do that. So, and because it was a surprise we wanted to do to my mom, I was very busy to do it for her. But, um, when I felt like, okay, um, she was really missing something from home, I decided then to take time and do it for her. So, um... That's why it was frozen from the beginning and then I put in the water for like um, three or four hours and it was the frozen, right? So normally when we call for it, they prepare everything already clean. But this time they forgot the scales, right? So they only clean inside. So this is the job I was supposed to do before I go ahead and um, marinate the fish. So... Um, so I removed the scales already. Now that I finish washing, I'm going to give small, small cuts on the skin and then start uh, marinating with a sauce. While mom is helping me with onion and garlic, I my ginger finish uh, without my notice. So I'm going to add ginger powder, right? So now that I finish giving some cut on the fish skin i'm going to wash it again and when i told my mom what i was going to cook for her <laughs> she, <laughs> she was so happy she started singing she started dancing and she was like the meat was too much thank you my daughter so uh, it also makes me happy right when she's happy so i decided just to do it just for her at least once or twice before she goes back right so <laughs> yeah. so now that i finish washing my fish i'm going to marinate it one after the other with salt in and out right So now that the fish is getting marinated, I'm going to proceed with my green leaves, right? Which is composed with rosemary leaves, 
um, basil leaves, parsley leaves. These are the leaves I had in my backyard, right? Any leaves you have that you know it is healthy or you used to cook with that, you can just add it so that you have you so that you have that green sauce right i'm going to add it to my onion and garlic right and i'm also going to use some spices which are curry powder um i didn't have ginger fruit so i'm going to add ginger powder coriander powder and paprika that red uh, powder right i'm going to add all of that and uh, I'm not going to add water to it. I'm going to add oil instead. Then I'll add salt and maggi so that everything will come out well prepared, right? And then I'm going to separate it into two. One half will be to marinate my fish and then the other half will be to fry and eat it aside. So I'll let you continue watching the video guys and let us meet forward. So now that I am done blending my green sauce, I'm going to cover my oven pan with my aluminum foil to protect my pan from the fish stain, right? And I will put the grill on top of that and that's where I will put in my fish. Keep watching guys. So now that I am done with that, I'm going to take a small part of my green sauce and marinate my fish with it. But first of all, I'm going to cream my grill with a little bit of oil to prevent my fish to stick on it. That will be easier for me to turn it from one side to the other side when I'm about to do that. So now that I, have, I am done with that, I'm going to marinate my fish with my green sauce. But what I'm going to do is to marinate it one side and inside so that I am able to hold the other side and put it in the grill, right? So the other side, I'll be putting the green sauce on top when I am done. So continue watching, guys.
now that I am done with the other side, I'm now going to proceed with the other side. So I'm going to cream the fish with the green sauce one after the other. So now that I'm putting the fish in the oven, I will be preparing another sauce. So with my green sauce, I will take again another small part in which I will mix now with my oil. And this oil and the sauce is what I'm going to cream the fish so that the fish wouldn't look dry, right? When it is in the oven, every uh, maybe 20 or 30 minutes, I'm going to cream it with this oil and the sauce. Then the rest of the sauce, I'm going to fry it. What you need? We're broken, it's tragic. We're not all elastic, but maybe there's magic. Believe you could have it. And I know of sadness, the anxious and panic, the infinite vastness of all that is blackness. Remember, I didn't add any water. I only blend it with oil and this is the oil I want to bring out, right? So I'm frying it so that the oil will come out and it will be a choice when you want to take the sauce and you want to take with oil, that will be the choice. But if you don't want to take it with oil, it will also be your choice. So it is now after 20 minutes that I put the fish in the oven, I'm now going to cream the mix of the oil and the sauce on the fish skin right and then later i will turn it to the other side and do the same so continue watching guys and this time because i'm also teaching hobby how to do that and because we are also doing that together we are partner in the kitchen today don't forget we have always been partners when cooking but the local food, he also like contributing. So meanwhile, I'm preparing my Banku Wara, right? And I have here the Banku mix. And this is the type I always order for. Anytime my husband and come back from the city, this is what I order for. Because I don't have on my side the type we have back home, right? So I don't have this chance to have African shop in my area. So, so now that Hobby turned the fish, he is going to cream the other side of the fish with the same mix of oil and the sauce right so he realized i was filming him and this was it was funny right because i was so amazed to see him just giving his own love to do that and help me to satisfy the mother-in-law right it is just beautiful when you have the right person with you guys so now i'm going to mix my banku with the room temperature uh water right and i'll mix it until it become really soft meanwhile uh, some of the water are on fire with salt So you always have to divide water because when you are putting the Benku water, it can become too much. So you have to divide it because you need that hot water later, right? And at this point, I have to let Hobby do the job because sometimes when the Benku become hard, you need a strong arm. And because we are partners doing that, he was the one doing the Benku. Is it not beautiful? <laughs> 
After that, it was time we needed that hot water we removed from the beginning, right? So we added that hot water and we waited like for 10 minutes until the water and the benku was well boiled, right? And then we went ahead again and do it the same way as I was teaching Hobby how to do that. And that was, and without forgetting, I let my mom also try it because she knows it better than me. Sometimes she will tell you it is not yet cooked. It is not yet done. It is still raw. So add water to it and wait again a little bit. And to add pepper, normally we do two sauces, right? One green sauce and one pepper sauce. But we don't consume a, enough pepper in my house. And so this is just to show you how it is done. So I did it and to make it healthy because uh, I didn't do the fruit one. We always buy it in a kind. Um, I added olive oil to make it healthy so that if someone want to eat it but normally this is just to show you how it is done so my banku was done and this is the video i wanted to share with you guys today it was yummy everybody was happy my mom was happy hobby ate it with appetite um thank you all for watching it was a pleasure for me to share this video with you i hope you like it Thank you all until we meet in my next video. Mwah.